have been able to accomplish more um, things. I've been able to stay in school, graduate from school, now have a job as a nurse. Um, I am able to have relationships with people. Um, I'm able to have, you know, boyfriends and, and look towards getting married and have a functional relationship without being too dependent or too insecure. I'm able to have friendships that I know will last a lifetime and um, just healthy relationships is, is one of the greatest gifts as well as a healthy image of myself and a love for myself that I never thought I would be able to, to have. Hello, my name is Jessica and welcome back to my channel. I am a stay-at-home mom comedy slash commentary channel, although I've just been doing mainly commentary lately as I figure out the direction of my channel. Really found a joy and commentary. So anyways, as you can tell from the title, this video is all about Becky Berry. Becky Mann, so previous to Berry, she was Mann, grew up in the Bay Area. She struggled most of her later teen years with an eating disorder. Because of this, she moved to the state of Utah to enroll herself in a specialized treatment center, which is Center for Change. Center for Change was founded in 1994 by a team of psychologists and a physician who had a long history together. Center for Change is self described to have both a holistic approach as well as being rigorous in their medical and clinical program and having a nurturing environment. Apparently, this is all everything that sets them apart. I have been trying really hard to find who exactly the founders are, and the only one I have found online to be definitive is Jeff Anderson. He's the co-founder of Center for Change, but I have my suspicions that Jody has her hand in Center for Change, but I just can't find the proof, which is really frustrating because I've spent hours and literal weeks just searching and searching because there's a thousand trillion people connected here. So yeah, I just, I can't find it, unfortunately, so I can't say for sure that she is a founder. Becky was at Center for Change in 1998. She does share in a podcast that she was in and out of treatment from the age of 17 to 19. So it is unclear if she was in and out of treatment at Center for Change or if she was at Center for Change just in the year of 1998. Becky felt so impacted by the staff and the program at Center for Change that once she successfully completed their program, she decided to go to nursing school. She then graduated in 2003 from the Utah Valley University and became a registered nurse. She then became employed at Timpanogos Regional Hospital. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> so because Becky lives a pretty private life online, besides what I have found out about her, I am unable to find out when her children were born. I do know what year they were born, just not the month. So piecing together the timeline is just slightly more difficult, but she had her first child in the year 2003. This also happens to be the same year that she graduated from university and got her job at that hospital. Then shortly after, it is unclear when or how, I'm assuming due to pregnancy, but she obtained a back injury, which is awful. So because of that, she was unable to work her normal nursing job. And interestingly enough, Center for Change found out about this and actually contacted her and just offered her a job. And it's not like it's completely out of the blue because as you saw in that intro video of Becky, when she was Becky Mann, she went back to Center for Change a lot of the time to share her story and to talk to the girls about, you know, how you can overcome because here I am, proof that I overcame an eating disorder and have live a really good life now. So they knew her really well and they knew she had worked as a nurse. So they offered her a job as a nurse at Center for Change. So she officially started working at Center for Change in July of 2003 and is still there to this day. So jumping back a little bit, Becky, as we know, had her first child in 2003 and she was married at the time. She, well, she's still married. <laughs> she married Steve just before then and has been with him since. And they had their second child in the year 2015. That is a 12 year age gap. Steve Barry, whose full name is Stephen Barry, is a family physician out in Orem, Utah. He graduated from the University of Utah School of Medicine in 1996 and has been practicing ever since, so for 27 years. There is not much information online for Stephen Berry, obviously because he is a physician, so he's very smart about what he allows about himself online. But what I have found through reading actually the reviews for his practice is that he also works at Center for Change. But without giving the name, if that makes sense. So the review said that he works with people dealing with anorexia. I'll put that on the screen. And that is exactly what his wife does. So my speculation or my assumption is that he also works there. Both Becky and Steve work for a humanitarian organization that goes to Ghana and they help people who need medical attention. So I don't want this video to just seem like I'm bashing people, but Becky and her husband actually do good things. And I know two things, like I've said before, can coexist at the same time. In regards to this, they can be both good and bad people. They brought him from Ghana to have surgery. He says in Ghana, people who are disabled are often just pushed to the side and basically just like left to just, you know, rot. But they were amazing and brought him with the organization 
to the US to have life-saving surgery, and then he had to go back to Ghana. But I think it's really amazing that they do stuff like this. Okay, now that we know who Becky and Steve or Steve and Barry are, you may be wondering, well, what do they have to do with connections? The main person is Becky. She spoke here, as you can see, another person spoke at the women's conference in 2020. And from all the information that I have found with Becky, she is pretty actively involved in connections. She speaks at all of their functions. She also is clearly certified by them because the people that I have found online. So in my previous video, I showed a screen recording of someone who's connected to Jordan Page. Well, that girl who has the Get It Girl coaching program, it's for like postpartum moms, which I think is pretty cool. She has her training under Becky, which is very interesting. And then there's another girl named Chris which I can share about her maybe later on. I don't know if I'm going to, but she also has a coaching with Christy program. And those two are like a team. They talk a lot at different women's functions. So like I was saying in my video with Paige and Johnny Hannah, these people get their coaching from Jody, and MLM style is my assumption. And this is coach other coaching companies, if that makes sense. But they are also still actively involved in connections and counseling couples in group sessions and in the conferences. And then as Becky shared in this podcast, that I found. She also does therapy at Center for Change. And I also do some life coaching and run therapy groups at Center for Change. Clearly, you don't need to be an actual qualified therapist to give therapy to people, which is extremely frightening. If you go and read the reviews for Center for Change, yes, there are some good ones, but some of them are probably from staff, which happens a lot with a lot of companies. They are the ones who are genuine are like they leave a one star and it's really awful and the kind of treatment. Another reason why I think that Jody has her hand in this company and maybe it's just like a common way to teach people, but this one little thing is like, hmm, that is like, it's too coincidental. So if you listened to Jesse's interview with the Mormon Stories podcast, they talked about how they are vegetarian. And by they, I mean Jesse for anyone who's confused because someone got confused in my earlier video. I'm respecting their pronouns. They are a vegetarian and they were told by Jody that no, you cannot be a vegetarian. And so they are I believe they had shakes only from what I can remember. What was very interesting about that detail is on one of the reviews, actually on multiple reviews, but there was an specific, specific thing on one of the reviews that a couple of them said, oh, they say you can't be vegetarian, that you have to earn to not be a vegetarian, which is insane, right? How can you just like say, oh, you can't be a vegetarian. And then they said they were drinking drinks like Ensure. But that is too specific to not be Jody, in my opinion, or at least the principles that Jody teaches. It could have been someone else, but maybe that's something that Jody taught them. Could have been Becky, who knows, right? That's the thing where I'm like, hmm, maybe. So we have seen now that Becky is very clearly a coach with connections, but her husband, it is not not easy to find something, but oh my God, I finally found something. Here is Stephen Barry with Jody Hildebrandt. This is at one of the men's retreat things, but I've already saw a picture of what Stephen looks like to really solidify like, yes, this is the guy. And then here he is at the actual conference, like inside a building with Kevin Frankie and Jody. This is it's hilarious to me. When I found this, I was laughing so hard. I said to my husband like, yeah, 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 I found it. <laughs> So there we have it, the information on Stephen and Becky Berry with connection. And now I want to get into some interesting, juicy stuff. If you're interested, stick around about who Becky and her husband are connected to. Now, when I found this, it was like one in the morning, I was falling asleep, you know, making all my things. I make all my notes in the notes app in my phone, and then I'm taking screenshots and stuff. And when I saw it, I was like, no way. So then I was like, okay, I need to look further. And I clicked on this profile, this blah, 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 blah. blah. And then I freaking... I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Look at the connection that I have found. The freaking Daybells. Now, if you're unfamiliar, uh, Chad and Lori Daybell, Lori was Lori Vallow, and she married Chad. They're members of the LDS church. Um, if I can find any so story that can really sum it up really well, I will link it below and maybe put it on the screen here so you know what video to find here on YouTube because I am not your source for that. I just generally know about the case. This does not mean that Becky and her husband are completely evil people, so I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that even even I found like tons of connections of Jody and all these different people and even more people within connections and they are not friends on Facebook with the Daybells, you know, and these people are friends with the Daybells. Like they actually actively like their photos and this is Chad Daybell's son, okay? They are Facebook friends with Chad Daybell's son, well, one of his sons. It's just absolutely insane to me how small their community is. Like they live in a big community. Really, it's really small as well. Like how intertwined, there I found another word other than connected, how intertwined all these people are. It blew my mind. I was like, shut up 
the fuck up. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And then on Becky's recent post, look who liked her post of her gaining a daughter-in-law, Sherry Frankie. That was surprising to me. It would make sense that she knows her if her mom has been in connections for so long. Her mom and dad have been in connections, right? That makes sense. She also knows that Becky's in connections and is apparently against it, but then is actively like still friends with her on Facebook and like hearting her posts. It's very odd to me. And not just hearting the post, but commenting congratulations. It's just so weird to me. I'm not meaning so ill towards Sherry, but it is very weird to me. So those of you who stuck around to the end now get to see a freaking hilarious ass video. To give you context, Addison Hildebrandt, Jody's son, had mentioned his first work into the world of entrepreneurship was selling his mom's CDs of her singing as a, when he was a kid. And I've been searching and searching and searching since I found this, but I found something. So uh, let's roll it and see if you recognize her background dancers. That is all I have for today's video. Check out the rest of the videos in this series that I will have linked at the end of this video. But I hope wherever you guys are, you're having a fantastic day. Bye guys.